What is up, my beautiful babes and games of the world? It's your girl, Keelan, aka it's Keelan, and I am back with another mother freaking video. Today's video is going to be, as you can tell from the title, what's in my makeup case. Now, I don't have a makeup bag because I got a little too much makeup, so I got a whole makeup case. So, um, I'm going to get started and I'm just going to be like pulling everything out because I figured that's like the best way to do it. Uh, I am going to show you guys how it looks though before I get started. So... I'm gonna use my other camera camera over here to show you guys how it looks. This is my makeup case. It is a, like a big caboodle. It has a drawer down here, which I'll show you guys the inside of it. It basically has all my necessities. Um, this actually has lashes in it. That's why it's in there. But um, so it has like setting sprays. It has uh, bl beauty blenders, uh, body glitter, paint for when I do um, Halloween looks and stuff like that. And at the bottom it has like brushes, highlighters, disposable brushes and stuff like that um, because I do other people's makeup. So like if I don't want to use, obviously I don't want to use my makeup on or brushes and stuff on other people's face. Um, so like for mascara and stuff. So I use disposable brushes so that, oh God. So that's what's in there. And then when you open it up, it actually has keys to open it up. And I don't have it locked because I don't have a reason to. So when you open it up, you see there's drawers. This just has fundamental makeup stuff here. Um, another compartment. Then you open it up and you get the rest of my makeup. So I'm about to switch cameras again and show you and start pulling stuff out for you. The middle part first, just because it's the biggest, so it's gonna take quite some time. So the first thing I have is uh, a concealer palette. Now this is a old concealer palette that I had to recently switch back to because I ran out of my concealer, but um, it's the Profusion Concealer Palette. Um, the second thing I have that I'm just gonna pull out are some brushes that I got for Christmas. These are, uh, D'Angelo bought them for me. They're the glitter ones, if you guys can see. Uh, but yeah, they have glitter on, uh, or glitter confetti, whatever you wanna call it in them. Um, let's see. So going, I just organized this, but going from um, palettes or whatever, I'm gonna show you guys my I don't know how to, how, where should I start with? I'm gonna show you guys my Morphe palettes and all that and all that. So the first palette that I have is the James Strauss palette. Um, I use this quite a bit actually, as you can see the red is pretty much almost gone. Um, I use this for if I wanna do anything bold obviously because I love his colors. So this is my James Strauss palette. I have this, um, the next Morphe palette I have is the 39S palette. This was a gift for my 21st birthday from my friends. And I really, really love this palette. I do not use it a lot, um, but when I do, trust me, I use it in the colors, the cut, like, especially like purples, they stain your eyes. So if you guys get the 39S palette, just be careful with using too much purple because that was my mistake. Um, so the next, palette I have oh gosh, is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I, ha I bought this last year. This was like one of the first palettes I bought and as y'all can tell, I use the Jaclyn Hill palette too. Love her, love this collab. It's so creamy, so good. I just love it. Um, the next palette I have is the Morphe 35M. This one, let me tell y'all, this is, I think this is a boss mood. Yeah, this is a boss mood one. And let me tell y'all, <laughs> you cannot go wrong with this palette. I just love this palette so much. That's why I had to get it. Next palette is the, I think this is the, the yeah, this is a 35W and this one is Warm It Up. So this is basically warm colors. Uh, if I can get this one 
that open. It's so pretty. I, oh my gosh. I love this because of the all the glitters that it has. Like this black glitter I use the most. I use it for like the pumpkin look that you guys saw in Halloween. And I just love it. It's just... It just makes it look 10 times better in my opinion. But yeah, I love this palette as well. So, so then going to the next, just pulling out the next thing in my palette, I mean my, um, in my case is what I'm trying to say. This is the, I don't know how to pronounce it, Kai palette. And I got this, uh, D'Angelo bought this for me for Christmas. So I have not used this because I really have not been wearing a lot of makeup as of late. I'm trying to give myself my skin a break. I've been doing a new skin routine. So if it pays off and I love what I'm seeing, which I honestly do, like there's nothing on my face. This has all been from literally this morning, me washing my face at like seven o'clock this morning and it's still this shiny. Then I will keep y'all, um, I'll give y'all an update on my skin routine. But yeah, this is the Kai palette. Um, next, I got a bunch of Juvia's. So the first Juvia palette I have is the um, Afrique palette, or Af I don't know how, Afrique palette or the Afrique palette. I feel like Afrique would be right, I don't know. But I used this palette fairly, oddly, I use it a lot, especially the blue. I love using the blues. And the, oh my god, this color here, let me tell y'all blinding just oh crap i have black in that that was not a smart idea this is just blinding y'all so just saying i love this the next palette i honestly just bought is the festival palette so i have not used it yet so with that being said i'm gonna play in these this weekend since i'm off um, the next palette I have is again, I, I bought, I wore this one. I wore this one for like when I did my Christmas eye look, I think. Um, but I've used it once. It's the Warrior 3 palette by Juvia's. The next palette I have is my go-to for nudes. Y'all know this, the Juvia's Nubian palette. As y'all can see, it's, it, I use it quite a bit. But what I love about the Juvia palettes is that it has so much product in it. Like it is such a small thing, but it's taking a while to get through all of these. So yeah. Now this one is busted up because people just like going in my stuff when I was at my house. But this is the, uh, the Saharan 2 palette by Juvia's. So it's a little busted up. So I gotta be careful with this one, but I'm just gonna get another one. But I love, love, love this one, especially that color there and the gold. And there's um this color here is kind of like, it looks like it's like a brownish, but it really isn't. It's really pretty. Um, the next color I have, y'all know I love this palette too. The Juvia's palette. I mean the um Zulu palette. They're all Juvia, but the Zulu palette I used this when I created my Beetlejuice my beetle just look and it turned out amazing so yeah i love 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 this palette here and the last juvia palette i have is the saharan the saharan palette this is the saharan palette as you guys can tell i have not used this palette yet so i'm really excited to play with this too next palette i have that I have never used um, is the Too Faced Gingerbread. Oh my God, the extra spicy. Oh my God. So this was a big thing during Christmas. Literally, Ulta sold out of this within like the first week or two, maybe, of us having this palette. And I was so bummed because I wanted to get it, but D'Angela got it for me for Christmas. So shout out to D'Angela because she came. She, I'm just saying, like. But I just love this palette and it smells so good. I have not used it. I just think it's so pretty that I don't want to use it, but I'm going to eventually use it. So the next thing I had is when I first started off doing contour and stuff, I faithfully used this palette. I still use it for the most part because I just, it's a good, it's a goodie. It's an oldie but a goodie. And it's the um, Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. So you have literally the contour contour scope and highlight and it's literally and it gives you the guide up here for if you've never done makeup before so yeah this i love this palette like this contour palette is just everything um now when i started off doing i think this is a, okay so my mom bought this for me for christmas 
was it Christmas? I think it was for one of my first Christmases. And well, one of my first Christmases when I got into makeup, <laughs> not first Christmases. But this is, uh, or she might have just bought this randomly. One of the two, I can't remember. But this is a nude eye uh, shadow palette by um, Profusion. And as you guys can tell, I have never used it. Like it still has the plastic on it and everything. I've never used it, I just, I don't know. I wanna use it, I just never opened it. I don't know why, I, I really don't. The next palette I have, again, is from Kai. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And it's the Snow, Snow Babe palette. Oh, look at it. Um, D'Angelo bought me this one as well um, for Christmas. I'm trying to open it and just look at those colors, y'all. Like, what? Come on. I have not tried it, of course. So I'm excited to try it because um, there's some colors in here that just look bomb.com. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try this one out too. Then I have more elf brushes or just more brushes not elf but brushes these are the elf brushes but the other ones were not d'angelo also bought me those for christmas um my contact solution for when i have my contacts because you girl can't have your eyes out here and then i believe that's everything that's in the center so pulling out the drawers as you guys saw i'm gonna go through those so the first thing you come across are my um rhinestones now i use these rhinestones you can honestly use rhinestones for anything um these actually were specified for nails but because i'm into makeup more i did it for makeup um let me go grab the other one so i can because i have a bunch of them so I, but i did um a look my pumpkin look the lip when i was doing that it was with rhinestones it wasn't these it was the black ones these are the um translucent ones but those i did that with the black rhinestones and it came out really really good so yeah rhinestones um let's see i always have a bunch of highlighters now this is a highlighter that i love to use it's by wet and wild they're mega glow and this is the 30 um 319B Blossom Glow. Love this stuff. Can't go wrong without this stuff. Next thing I have is glitter liner. Now, I love glitter, as y'all can tell, on my cut, crispy cut. I use glitter liner on pretty much everything. Um, next is mascara because I have a lot of mascara. I need to honestly organize the drawers even more. I did at one point in time, but I use it too much. Black highlighter, this is for Hall Halloween time. It actually has a skull on it. I don't know if it still does. Yeah, it still has a skull on it. If y'all can see that, it has a skull on it because it's for Halloween time. This was um, the, um, there. I got a whole palette from Walmart. It was a Wet n Wild palette. And this is a highlighter actually, let me show y'all. Um, but this is a highlighter and it's the Earth highlighter and it actually has all the Zodiac signs on them. This is another um, highlighter. Or no, this one's an eyeshadow palette, sorry. Eyeshadow palette, it came in the Earth pack as well. Then I have a bunch, a bunch, when I say a bunch, of lip. Gosh. Okay, I have a bunch of lip stuff. So these are my, not all of them, but my lipsticks that are in one compartment. Then I have just random makeup for other people's skin complexion if it doesn't match mine. Special effects blood, more um, like pearls and stuff for my makeup looks. Um, eyeshadows from NYX and CoverGirl. And another eyeshadow from NYX. And here, I think, yeah, this is a, um, this was the palette with the rhinestones I used for my um, lip look. It has literally black rhinestones, white rhinestones, iridescent white rhinestones, purple rhinestones. So, if y'all are interested in doing makeup and you ever want to try a rhinestone look, I encourage you to do it. Because for my 21st birthday, I put the, 
I put these rhinestones on my eye to actually create a cut crease and it was bomb. So you can do a lot with rhinestones, just saying. Normally I keep my um, my face oil in here, but today I used it. As y'all know, I have my Mario, my Mario Badescu spray that I use. So yeah, it's, it's good. I'm just telling y'all, go get y'all some. Um, in the next drawer, just putting everything back. In the next drawer, I have more lippies, my MAC, my lip gloss. Don't forget to shop my website down below. You will not be disappointed. Um, what else do I have? I have, this is another just random color for someone who, I don't know if this matches me, but if someone else, um, if I do someone else's makeup and they don't have their own um, shade, then I do, I do have other colors. Um, I used to use this, I don't, but <laughs> this glue burns. It's honestly, it's Kiss um, Eye Envy uh, Mega Hold Eyelash Glue, but that stuff, it, it, it like, you ever smell something and taste it, that's what you can do with this, and it smells and tastes like chemicals. So I don't use it on my eyes anymore because, no. Um, then I have, I got this in a influencer kit, um, box. It was, and I, it was free, uh, but it's the Maybelline Great Lash in Royal Blue. Now for, look, I use this for like, if I do my rainbow eye look and I want my eyelashes to be blue because it definitely looks bomb. Um, I'm also going to use this for upcoming projects. So just stay tuned for that. Just let y'all know. Um... Then I have, again, a contact case. I have more lip stuff and then a, I have a white liner as well, but a blue liner, I'll show you guys. These are my liquid eyeliners, but I don't really use eyeliners anymore, so yeah. So moving on to the next little drawer. Um, I have, these are more rhinestones or just stones. And these are like the shapes. You have the butterflies, clouds, stars, circles, squares, diamonds. Uh, I think that's a clover. So I'm excited. Oh, this is a teardrop. I'm excited to use this too. So be on the lookout for more looks this year for me. I am I know I've strayed away from makeup, but I honestly feel like my page is just like, um, I've turned it kind of into just, a anything pay not anything because that sounds like I don't have like a a, a niche I should say but it's mostly like how it's like a page for advice it's a page for beauty and it's a page for challenges and stuff that I want to do I want to be more a part of the YouTube community I don't want to just put myself in one bubble because I want to branch out and have everybody I don't want just people that do makeup to follow me I want more people that to follow me you see what i'm saying yeah um so yeah so in the next in the next one i have a bunch of lippies as y'all know i did the 100 layer of lips challenge or lip gloss challenge and i was it was just gross it was just gross um but i have another random um foundation for someone else I have um, this is a hula quickie contour stick now I don't really use cream contours a lot so I haven't really tried that out but it's there if I want to use it I got some random no, they're not random but they're glitters they're loose glitters I should say so I got a bunch of loose glitters in here and then I have I used to uh, be a representative for unique I think I did a video on it, so it's on this channel still. So I had, I got a bunch of spray samples from Unique. And this was one of the ones that I love, love, love to use because it's so creamy and it's a shimmer. And y'all know I love shimmers. So I can't really see it, but it's there. Um, Then I have more lippies. And then I have... More lippies. So it's just lips and glitter in that one um, that I'm still pulling out. So yeah, that was pretty much all, oh my gosh, um, 
all, and I mean everything that's in the top part of my case that I showed you guys that opened. So that was pretty much it, guys. That was everything I have in my makeup case. I already showed you guys what's in that bottom drawer. It's just pretty much miscellaneous, but it's mostly like for when I do other people's makeup and when I do SFX makeup. I don't know what I'm doing. So yeah, that was it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Really, 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 I have I have a problem, as y'all can see with makeup. I have an addiction. It's not a problem. It's, it's an addiction. Um, and honestly, I say that because I just started buying makeup last year. Like, and it used to all fit in a case, like a little caboodle. I had to upgrade for Christmas because it got to be too much. So I really need to stop buying makeup. But am I gonna? Probably not. <laughs> but anyways, um, this video is very fun to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Turn on your bell notification so you can see whenever I post. Be a part of my subscriber fam. I would love to have you. We would love to have you. And without further ado, always remember to stay classy and a little bit trashy. Peace out, guys.